welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a vlog. I don't know if I've mentioned on YouTube that I'm going to be filming more vlog style content. See how it goes because I know that's what you guys probably love the most and that's what I love filming. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to be doing like cooking videos and makeup videos, Q and A's and stuff, but just everything in more of like a relaxed style of filming and just make everything seem like a vlog in, in a way. But yeah, welcome back. Today is Tuesday. I've just got back from the gym, hence why I look a little bit of a mess right now. I did vlog a little bit at the weekend, which was manic. Everything will be explained in the clips that I filmed, but I think I'm just gonna insert those now um, to sort of catch you guys up because there's not loads and loads of footage um, for a whole vlog, but I thought I'd just include it here. So, play the footage. So obviously I'm in the car and I'm filming on my phone right now. My camera is in my bag, but I was in a bit of a rush coming out, so I didn't set it up properly and stuff. So, just propped my phone up. Basically this weekend, it's a little bit of a manic one, but I thought I'd just pick up the camera or my phone in this case, um, just whenever really. Um, basically, it's Friday and it's half past three. I'm on my way to pick up my sister. We are both driving up to, or I am driving up to, she's gonna be sat here soon, um, to Newcastle. Very random. I don't think I've ever been to Newcastle. It's actually just outside of Newcastle, but one of our older sister's best friends is getting married and of course we are the dream team to do hair and makeup if you guys don't know um my sister charlotte is a hairdresser she does loads of weddings and i also do a little bit of makeup that's what i did years ago and i've always dabbled in and out of it so i've been doing loads of weddings this year mainly family and friends it's just been crazy busy she's asked us to come all the way to her in newcastle which is very exciting um so that is where we're going tonight to get ready to get up early very get up very early tomorrow i did actually do a little bit of an update on my instagram last week um and if you missed that i will just sort of quickly summarize what i spoke about because you might be like where's your videos been the last week i am thinking to just basically relax my uploads a little bit not do two uploads every single week but yeah i hope that's okay with you guys um but yeah that is why i'm starting in the car just want it to be really relaxed you know a lot of people say that my content is very chilled for them and i want it to stay like that i love watching chilled content and just having it like in, as background noise almost this weekend should be fun i'm actually going to a wedding as well so she did very kindly invite us to the evening of her wedding tomorrow who we're doing the makeup for and her but i actually have another wedding i told you wedding season is in full swing tomorrow evening in kent so imagine this i live in hertfordshire i'm driving all the way to newcastle tonight doing the makeup and hair tomorrow with my sister and then we're driving back tomorrow when we're done probably like midday um, and I'm driving straight from Newcastle to Kent. So I'm probably going to be in the car for like six hours tomorrow um, because I'm going to an evening wedding tomorrow. So yeah, it's been very hectic, but all exciting. And I just wanted to update you. Probably going to get some dinner on the way. I hope so anyway, because I'm starving. Um, but probably drive like a good old chunk of the journey first. We've just been to Nando's, completely forgot to film, um, but we only have about an hour left of the journey. We just popped into Asda, lovely evening, and we've got some little snacks, some sweets, some cereal bars for the morning, waters for the night. I actually got myself some slippers for the hotel because I forgot to bring any and I don't have any socks and I'm wearing sandals, so I've got some slippers. Um, and yeah, that is what we got for the evening. I think Charlotte picked up some chocolate raisins. She's just been to the toilet. <laughs> Hi guys, oh my gosh, what a rush. So it is currently, I don't even know the time. You're very wonky. Um, 
and my hair is a mess. I need to leave like 10 minutes ago, to be honest. I need to still straighten my hair. I'm very late, but I kind of knew this was gonna happen. And I'm kind of kicking myself for not being a little bit more organized because I should have done my hair last night or something, but I was so tired. And you know when you just really, really can't? I'm paying for it right now, but I'm just gonna spray a bit of dry shampoo. Just using this one from Colab and hope for the best. I got back from a wedding in, it wasn't actually in Newcastle in the end. I thought it was gonna be there, but it was just before by, it was kind of just past like Leeds, um, but it was still obviously quite a way. Yeah, it's gonna be a stress getting there, but I think I'm gonna make it. Just put my dress on. I've actually got a new dress from ASOS, which I'm wearing, and I'll put in like these little TikToks that I made because I did a little haul on there, and I tried on some wedding guest outfits, and some of them are so cute. So I did a little ASOS shop and I thought I would show you guys what I picked up. First thing first, I got this maxi dress. It's like a t-shirt style and I actually really like it. I think it'll be really good for days when I can't really bother to make an effort, but it's still kind of cute. Um, this is from And Other Stories. It wasn't cheap. I got these really cute slides. They're platforms. Um, they are on sale from like £40 to 15 and they have every size. I don't know if I can link on TikTok. Oh my God, my hair, but I will try. They're too big for me, so I'm gonna size down, but let me show you what they look like on. How cool. Then I got this dress. I think the length's a bit weird, but maybe not. Yeah, I thought it'd go cute with these sandals, but I think it's a bit short, but I love this detail. And I think I'm gonna have to make a part two. Okay, part two haul. I have a wedding this weekend, and to be honest, I have so many weddings coming up this summer. So I picked up a few dresses. And I've only got two so far because the delivery was different times. But how cute is this? I'm going to keep this regardless whether I wear it this weekend or to another wedding. It's from a brand called... I'll leave it on the screen. But I think it's so cute. The, the tones are adorable. And I have one more dress to show you. This has been a very successful haul. I love this dress. It's very, like, plain and kind of sexy. And then you turn around look at the back so nice the model had like massive good good gold hoops with it so i bought these from asus as well it's a tiny bit big but i like that it's very like baggy almost today went really well and i'm excited for tonight so yeah it should be good it's been such a beautiful day as well sorry i just wanted to update you because i feel like i have not vlogged at all well i haven't literally just showing you snippets of this morning obviously i can't really vlog too much i was really busy running around but the venue was gorgeous it's called yorkshire wedding balls i think and oh my god it was so 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 pretty i'm already just in time just um by in time i mean i'm gonna be a tiny bit late but it shouldn't be too bad because we can just go straight there let me show you my dress from ASOS and it will be in that TikTok that I showed you guys. So flattering and easy. I'm obviously wearing flip flops right now because I've got a drive. This is the back. And now back to current day. So yeah, it's the morning. I actually went to the gym quite late this morning, about 10. So it's about 11 a.m. at the moment. I'm gonna have a very light breakfast. And by breakfast, I mean snack. I'm just gonna have an apple cut up with some biscoff, fake biscoff spread on it, um, just to fill a little hole. I'm not like super, super hungry anyway. But, but basically this afternoon, I wanna pop out um, and head to McDonald's treat yourself i really want to try the italian menu before it goes i've been wanting to get around to it for ages because i've seen it all over social media um youtube videos tiktoks i've just seen everyone trying it and i really want to try it myself so i want to be really hungry for that so i can enjoy it because i'm not going to go i'm going to go like in an hour or something i'm gonna eat this i'm obviously gonna make myself a coffee because is it a vlog without one also my skin it's not giving right now the last couple days it was like really nice and glowy 
all of a sudden I've had this breakout and I think that's just because I've been stressed and just stressed because so busy <laughs> if you guys haven't tried this apple spread snack hack thing <laughs> then you need to here's my coffee making station that you've seen a million times need to refill my water I've not been food shopping in so long because I've been so here there everywhere and I never know like if I'm gonna be home or if I am home like I'll go to my sisters or like I'll go to my mom and dad or get a takeaway like I've just not got like substantial food in so I need to do that this week at some point tiny bit of syrup this one is I think I got this at um, home sense you know they sell so much random stuff actually I think that's a big fat lie I think I got it on Amazon but I see this in home sense all the time sugar free caramel flavor and you honestly need the tiniest bit because it's so sweet um, I've learned that the hard way but I've had this for years I hope it's still okay because it's lasted so well these cups are £2.50 from Starbucks. Well, I don't know if they still are, but they were when I bought them. And they say Starbucks. And if you take them in there as well, then you get a cheaper coffee because they don't have to use a cup of their own. Big fat coffee. Thank you very much. Just had a shower and got dressed. I'm wearing something quite wintry and boring today because yeah it's not great outside well it is kind of blue skies but it doesn't feel like a summer's day i have kind of played with my skin because you know it's those kind of breakouts that actually feel better once you've you know there was a lot of pressure in there so yeah i'm not going to put any makeup on today just because i'm not going anywhere special so just going to pop a little bit of moisturizer on no point putting makeup on oh the sun's coming out watch me go out in this and then be boiling and i think i need to put a layer of um that gradual tan on again the garnier one that i spoke about in my last video because i'm looking a little bit pale again we can't have that we'll give my skin a chance to breathe oh um i didn't even wear makeup yesterday but not sure what's going on i might give it a little bit of a pamper later have a bath it's quite sore i'm getting hungry now it's what time is it it's quarter past it's 20 past one so by the time i get to mackie d's probably be like two um and i'm really excited can you hear my stomach <laughs> There's a plane at the same time, so maybe not. I think my brow's doing. I'm in that stage of like, I feel like everything has a cycle. Your skin, your like brows being done, your hair. To be fair, my hair's quite fresh, but you know that stage where everything's just needs a bit of love. And then the stage where like your tan and your brows are done. Sometimes your lashes are done. You're thriving. I'm the opposite of that right now. That'll be it for today. I might pop some earrings in. Make myself look a little bit more presentable. I actually want to um, get some more piercings soon. I don't know if any of you will remember, but I used to have two more piercings. I think it was on this ear. You can actually kind of see the hole on that one. You won't be able to see. Um, but I had one here. I'll try and find a photo and insert it. And then one up here. And basically at different at different points they both just fell out and i never found them or i did find them but i didn't get around to putting them back in and then they closed up but i've always loved piercings and i definitely want more so maybe i'll try and do that this summer as well but anyway let's go grab some food a few minutes from mcdonald's i've not had mcdonald's in so long and yeah i was just worried that i was gonna miss this launch because i know well i've heard that the italian menu is only out until july and then they're doing like a spanish menu so that'll be fun i guess there's gonna be some sort of like spanish chorizo here the golden arches every traffic light i've come up to has been red <laughs> i've not passed through one smoothly yet and there's a lot on the way Mmm, all looks so good. So there's crispy chicken Italiano, Italian stack. I don't really like McDonald's burgers. I don't really love burgers in general, to be fair. 
Um, the tiramisu milk flurry and the mozzarella dippers. I smashed it to be fair. Hi, how can I help? Hiya, can I please get um, the crispy chicken italiano? Is that as a meal? Uh, no, just on its own please. Yeah, anything else? And also the tiramisu McFlurry. Yeah, anything else? And a water please. Yeah, anything else? That's it, thank you. Drive around please. Thanks. Okay, I've got the goods. Hopefully you heard my order. Just gonna park up somewhere. Right, let's give this a go. Okay, so I got myself an Italian, it's quite heavy to be fair, the crispy chicken Italiano, I think. Oh, looks good, looks big. And I also got the tiramisu milk flurry, which sounds like a bit of me. I love a coffee, don't I? So, let's see what this looks like. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're joking. Guys. Does that look like chicken to you? I've got the Italian stack, but they've put it in a chicken one. How? how? McDonald's has never usually let me down like that. I genuinely might go to a different McDonald's and try and get the chicken because I don't really want the Italian stack beef. I don't really, I said to you I don't really like beef, but let's give it a go. How annoying is that? I mean... No. I just don't really want it. I would go back to the same one, but I feel embarrassed. I'm rude. I know I'm not, shouldn't be, but... That's just how I am. So annoying. I was so looking forward to that. That's such a waste. Let's try the McFlurry because this is gonna melt. This is what it looks like. It's a lot of sauce to be fair. Right, I don't really like love a McFlurry, like I'll eat them, but. Mm. Oh my God, so good. The McFlurry. Mmm. It's almost like more of a frozen yogurt. I don't know if that's just new, but soft dairy ice cream swelled with chocolate flavoured biscuit pieces and a luxurious and coffee, luxurious coffee and chocolate flavoured sauce. Yeah. I'd say that's spot on to be fair. I don't even know where the nearest McDonald's is now. I want to do a drive through. It is very good. I feel like with McFlurries though, as soon as you take the toppings off, the ice cream is just very boring. <laughs> I'm going to try and hunt, hunt down the actual chicken one. Um, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I'm at the next McDonald's. <laughs> Luckily, there was one only five minutes up the road. Um, so, I don't feel a bit, I don't feel that silly. I know a lot of you are going to be like, you should have just complained and not happened to pay for another one. But, oh, honestly, I'm such a scaredy cat when it oh when it comes to things like that so we're just gonna order it again and hope for the best what are the chances of it happening to us eh hi can i take your order this hiya can i please get the chicken italian one please yeah as a meal no just on its own it's but own, yeah. with a diet coke please anything else that's it thanks oh, thank you driver thanks take two Hopefully I've not been pranked again. Because we've wasted a burger already. This is, let's pretend the first one didn't happen. The crispy chicken Italiano. Excited, yay! Oh my God, there's a lot of salad in there. Okay, this actually looks really good. Now that it's right, <laughs> I'm gonna find a description for this. A delicious crispy chicken fillet topped with a juicy tomato slice, mozzarella, a basil pesto, pesto, pesto style sauce. I'm gonna take some of this salad out. Um, red onion and lettuce served up, a, served up in a softly fresh toasted ciabatta style bun. Very nice description, McDonald's. I mean, you did let me down 
the first time but hopefully this is going to be worth the two trips i'm paying for two <laughs> that's what it looks like mm. quite dry because there's no sauce on the bottom it's just bread then breaded chicken there's sauce on the top but i think they need on the bottom as well it's good though Mm, do love McDonald's chicken. Chicken over beef. What do you guys prefer? It is good. It's just a bit dry. But the cheese is good. Chicken is divine. And the sauce is good. It's quite herby, which I think makes it a little bit Italian. I wouldn't say, like, it's the most Italian thing I've ever had. I kind of just want to eat the chicken with the cheese. So there you go guys, my impressions <laughs> weren't that exciting, but I liked it. Would I get it again? Probably not. My McDonald's order is very boring though, it's like nuggets, chips, Diet Coke, which I got the second time round. And sometimes if I'm feeling in a sweet tooth, I get a chocolate milkshake. Anyways, wasted a bit of food today. I'm gonna head to Home Sense now. My trip has turned a lot longer than it should have been. I'm home. Home sense actually had not much at all. They had a few bits that I was like, hmm, do I get? But I think I would have just been getting it for the sake of it. So I didn't get anything at all. And then I just headed into Tesco's and picked up some groceries. I guess I can run you through what I got. Oh, first off, wrapping paper. Got some birthdays coming up, some pizza breads. I actually saw on TikTok, I'm obsessed with TikTok right now. Um, someone made like Joe and the Juice dupe, like flatbreads at home. And they used pitters and they looked really good. So I got some of those. Um, I'm gonna try that out. And I also got some tuna because the spicy tuna, oh, I meant to get Tabasco. I'll get it next time. Um, the spicy tuna, Joe and the juice sandwich is my favorite. It's so hot in here. I was right. It brightened up today and it's now 23 degrees. And I'm boiling, so I'm gonna get changed. Um, I got some rice cakes to make my, oh, um, favorite snack right now, which is the rice cake snicker things. Also got some more peanut butter. I got this one, it looked called my name some chocolates this one has less sugars thought i'd try it for the thingies and then i thought chocolate orange on the snicker things would be peng loads of milk i got the vanilla oatly which i can never find in supermarkets but they had it in this tesco's i got the linda mccartney oat and the linda mccartney coconut got these again okay. i've seen these on tiktok Prepped chocolate filled croissants. Like the, the macros aren't too bad either. And you put them in the freezer. So every time you want a croissant, just get one out of the freezer. I thought they'd be good for hosting as well. Also got some frozen strawberries for my smoothies. My arm is killing me. Yesterday I woke up and my arm felt like I'd had a jab. Um, that's the best way I can describe it. It feels really achy and like if I lift it in certain ways It just feels really heavy and like a dull ache um, And I thought it'd be gone today, but it's still there. Does anyone know what that could be because I don't want to worry myself But I just hopefully I've just slept on a nerve funny But yeah, I don't know how long I'm gonna leave it until I get it checked um got some birthday cards some more birthday stuff my boyfriend's birthday is coming up some strawberries i got this because i saw i've <laughs> seen it all over tiktok um it's the caramel drizzle people make you know like those tiktok accounts that only basically make coffees they use them for their caramel ice lattes and i just thought it might be fun to give it a go you know oh, food shopping is one of my favorite things <laughs> so sad i don't know but i just like finding new things and yeah people like 
put it all inside the cup. You'll know, if you watch TikTok, you'll know exactly what I mean. And don't act like you don't want to buy this. Mm. I got some bananas, some Nutella because I've run out, and some more strawberries. So that's it. It's a little bit later now. I am gonna have one of my favorite snacks. I made these earlier, but I didn't film it. Um, I was chatting to you guys about the ingredients I bought to make them. Okay, so I have been making these snicker, kind of like rice cake things that I've seen all over TikTok. If you've not seen them, you've been living under a rock. But in case you haven't seen them, I'm gonna show you how you make them because I've been loving them. So you need some rice cakes, some peanut butter, some dates. I think they come in different forms, but mine are just like chopped up really small and any type of chocolate and I'm gonna melt this. Okay, my chocolate's melting. Basically, I've, there's so many different ways you can do this, but I've been putting a little bit of peanut butter on the rice cake like that. And then you wanna take some dates and dates are underrated, guys. They taste like caramel, I'm not joking. Um, so I've just been taking like a handful and just sort of squishing them down like that, about that many. Okay, then you wanna spread your chocolate and I'm running out of time, but I'm gonna put these in the freezer and do a part two. And I actually bought dates that you slice instead of the little ones. Mmm. So yum. I was about to finish this vlog, but I thought I'd quickly, very quickly just catch you guys up on my books because I feel like I've spoken a lot on, a lot on Instagram about um, the ones I've read so far and what I've thought about them, what I'm reading at the moment. So I'm not sure what I last spoke about on YouTube, but the last one I read was Verity. So many people told me to read and I think that's probably the most requested. Oh, my skin. Um, that was probably the most requested one out of all of them by Colleen Hoover. And I liked it, but it wasn't my favorite. I did like it, but I think I was just a bit disappointed with the end. It's worth a read, definitely. It had me gripped, but I just didn't really know where it was going. And I think everyone was so like, Oh my god, you're gonna be mind blown. And I was a little bit, but then I was a bit like, mm, I don't know. It was kind of a rushed ending. Anyway, I read it and I read it really fast. But now, you probably just saw, now I'm reading Confess, also by Colleen. This one hasn't been as highly requested, but I saw it and I'm kind of aiming to read all of her books. So I am one to two pages in. So like this much in, almost halfway. Really liking it, but obviously I don't have as much time as I did on holiday, so it's taken me a while. Um, I wanna get back to reading it every night because I really enjoyed like sitting in bed reading it. So I'm gonna read it later. But yeah, I think where I've left it longer, like probably picking it up every few days instead of every day. Uh, I'm sort of a bit zoning in and out, but I'm enjoying it. And I've then bought, I'm looking at them right now. I've got a little bit of a bookshelf going on over there. It's barely a bookshelf, but because I have no books and then all of a sudden I've got loads, I've just thought I'd display them. Um, someone told me that there's a series I'll put up on the screen as well. Like there's like orders of some of the books. Some of them are standalone. I think this one is. It ends with us. Actually, there's another one coming out called It Starts With Us, which I can't wait for. That was like a standalone and so was Ugly Love. Those two are probably my favorites. And Reminders of Him. They're my top three. Reminders of Him, oh, so good. Anyway, um, there's like a series for some of the books, which I love that idea because when I first read It Ends With Us, I was like, I wanna carry on reading about these characters. Like, I don't wanna switch stories i want to like carry on but like like the next film almost i've ordered losing hope i'm reading them hopeless losing hope finding cinderella and all your perfect and they're part of a series i think there might be one more here they are <laughs> my books on the shelf um so yeah that's my little book update yeah i'm probably gonna end this vlog here Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.